Okay, let's go turn the water on first, though. What you got there? Smokey tree. Smokey's tree and a what? An egg. Yep. Are you smashing bugs? It's like a three foot black snake. Corner trim right there. Come help me. Add their smash. Ready? Ready? <laughs> dog on it. Look. Did you, did you say dog on it? Say dog on it. Here. There we go. Um, what's your throat on everybody? It's all that time. Not grandpa's farm. That's dad's farm. Daddy's farm. Mulberries. Mulberries. Oh no, don't drop. Don't drop. She's sleeping. I Oh, there she is. There she is. Right there. Right he there. dropped it, Smoke. He dropped it. He dropped Let's it. Let's see how your nose is. Can you find it? Hey, you guys see that? See the patch of hair on her hind end? One of y'all, right I can't remember there. who. Somebody called it her fanny pack. Right there, Chunky. She got it. Good girl. Hi. Oh, hi, Chunky. Let's go. Hey. Look at all those chickens. Uh, Magnator. Oh, it's chicken. There's up a chicken there. up there. It's chicken up there. It's up there. I thought they forgot where they live. Oh, it's up there. The ghost up there. Got you covered, Batman. Here you go, buddy. Oh, no. Here, throw it in the bucket. Oh, no. Oh, that's okay. The chickens will get it. Good job. All right, I gotta show I gotta show you guys something. So Batman, remember he had that lesion on his back leg. Now he's got another one on his front left shoulder. You can see it there a little bit. Grandpa's got some blue coat on it. But he's doing that to himself. He's doing with his horns. He just gets a what's that? How's the saying go? He uh, scratches his mad spot. So, I don't know what we do about that. So that was bright red yesterday. Irritated the you know what out of it. Yeah. Can we help her? Oh. Where did your bowl go? I think Grandpa moved your bowl. Oh, Papa, oh, my bowl. Yep, all right, let's go feed the little ones. Yeah. So somebody asked me the other day why Lola gets a whole scoop. And these two get one scoop. Well, Lola's huge, for one. Okay, don't touch the fence. Stay by daddy. That's right. And these two. Don't touch the fence. These two have a ton of pasture. So if they get hungry, they should do what they're supposed to do. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I poured that right on top of you. He's been pushing her around a little bit, by the way. And there's still noticeably a size difference. So he probably shouldn't get too froggy. But... I throw it. You throw it, man. Good oh, boy. Job. Good job. So anyway, I'm excited to see what colors these guys throw. Because she's got waddles. And he does not, but he's got spots, obviously. He's registered. She's not. Uh-oh, all better. I like your hair. Look up like this. Yep. Throw it, man. All right, let me help them before they start getting rowdy. All right, let's go feed the chickens. Here, can you throw that in the bucket? Pound it. That boy. Tartar is uh, working with me on that bucket, by the way, or that hog drinker if you didn't know tartar sponsors the channel 
they've sent us a lot of stuff including that hog drinker and it started leaking so i sent them a video which they requested of where it's leaking and they're taking a look at it for me see what happened that's one thing i like about tartar and they manufacture all their stuff it's made in usa uh even when case and i went down there and visited they want to know what's going on so they can they want to know what's going on so they can fix it mosquito props to tartar but also i really want to know your guys' thoughts on batman like is there something wrong is he just a goat with a mad spot and wants to scratch it every day or what hey why'd you do that Why'd you do that? I have to throw it on the ground. I threw it on the ground, didn't you? Now what are we gonna do? Oh, good job. I don't think the goat will eat that off the ground, but I bet the chickens will. Look at him. Oh, dad, Maybe he's just nuts. Uh-oh, hang on. We gotta pay attention to your furry sister. Oh, Go. Here she comes, look out. Get ready. Oh, this turkey all the There she goes. Good thing she got her fanny pack strapped on. Meow. There's the little ones. I'll take. There. I'll take care of their water here in a second. Hey, where's dude? Where's the big red one? There he is. I don't want him over by you. Here, let's see if he'll, let's see if he'll come up there. Look at him go over there though, and make sure that they aren't coming to eat it. He's kind of a stinker. How are the little ones doing? We haven't showed everybody. There's uh, nine baby chicks and a guinea. Got a little baby guinea in there. Hey, let's go to the back. There's a little Jake. There's a little hen. CB. These are the two black Spanish hens we got from Kevin and Rachel. That rooster is a Magneto Jr. And he's still pretty shy. What do you think? Is there an egg in there? Oh, there it is. Where'd that come from? Look down there. See that egg? There's an egg underneath there. Come here, look. Watch out, Spice. Oh, that's a lot of poo-poo. Oh, it's a lot of poo-poo. <gasps> look, buddy. Don't drop it. She's fine. She's barking at that chicken because the chicken wants the egg. Look at that chicken. Yep, she's letting the chicken know that's her egg. That's a baby chick in there. You think there's a baby chick in there? Maybe. All right. Oh, look at red. red. She's showing off. That's the other black Spanish from Kevin and Rachel. They're both fanning out. Turkeys aren't the brightest crowns in the box. Y'all know anybody like that? These turkeys are strange. Magneto's over here right in the middle of it. Magneto, what do you think about all that mess, buddy? What do you think about all that? No comment, huh? Hey. I'll see you in a little bit, okay? I'll see you in a little bit. Why is 
so cute. So I got a feeling that the two, the young hen and the young tom are trying to kind of step up a little bit. And Red's like, nah, ain't happening. These goats need to come out here and eat some, eat some forage. Yeah, some, some browse, is that what they call it? Big old pigs. Big old pigs. Right. It's a little warmer today. <laughs> or somebody's heavier since yesterday. But that's one thing I've noticed about chickens and turkeys. After having turkeys for a little over a year now and hatching them out. I've seen chickens do some pretty incredible things. Okay. <laughs> You're hiding from the sun. But turkeys? But I've hunted wild turkey and you know you gotta be really quiet. And I do think this tea over there. Yep. I do think camouflage matters with turkeys. Way more than it does deer. But I think that's just because of their eyesight. I don't think it's an intelligence level. Hey, we're not done. We gotta feed the beefy boys in Wilma. It's my turkeys. Turkeys? We haven't finished the chores yet. Come on, let's go finish them. Then we'll get cookies. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. good job. Good decision. Good decision. If you give in on the cookies one time. Why does my hat look like a lady at the derby? If you, I don't know what's going on. If I would have given in on the cookies one time, it would have happened every time. Turn the key. Other way. There you go. See if we can back up out of here. Here, you want to hold it? Don't drop it. Don't drop my phone. Don't drop the phone. Here, hold it like this so I can see. Run, 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 run. Showing off already. You're so pretty. Drive. Help me. Wallow. Wallow. Yeah. It's muddy. That's what she wants. That's muddy. Mm hmm. Sing it, man.
These guys make big poops, man. Building log cabins with them things. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Man, I wish I could give you guys a size comparison. They are, goodness, they're almost four and a half, maybe five feet. Almost out of spray. Eat it, beefy boy. Come on, there we go. Hold that thing level. This one here, man. He just don't want to play ball. I'm gonna stand next to you. Nope, 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 nope. All right, that's good enough. They're massive, guys. Like, I'm kind of in shock. Oh, good. Woo. Did, you put, did you put a little spice on that cube? Woo, baby. Mm-hmm. You want to hand one to him? That a boy. Okay, ready? Make your hand real flat. Did you do it? I think he did it. You want to do it again? Okay. No, he won't hurt you. That a boy. Good job, buddy. Thank oh, you. No. Thank you, buddy. He hurt me. Oh, I didn't get you wet here. Look at him, man. He's hungry. It. Wipe it on your shirt. That'll make Dutch proud. Wipe it on your shirt. There you go. You're going to wipe it on Daddy's too, aren't you? <laughs> I'm sweating. Daddy's sweating. Yep. That's a bull. Oh, that's... Geese. Yeah. Oh. Can you say Canadian chickens? Canadian chickens. Yeah. Can you say this is our brand? Can you see that? This is a brand. Yeah, that's cool. And it's a bull. That's one of the beefy boys. The yep, they wish they looked that stout, but or I wish they looked like that too. Boys, yep. One of the beefy boys. One of the beefy All right, you want to turn the fence on? Is your foot in your boot? Is that the problem? Or is it like backwards? <laughs> I switch arms every now and then, so you know, work out on both sides. It's way, please. That's the other way. See the green light? It's on. So there's a charging mode off, and then there's like a smaller animal deterrent. And like like if you had woods, you just wanted to keep animals out or something like that, you could use that. But obviously for your larger animals, which I can't believe a sheep is on the same level as a 1,100 pound cow, but maybe there's some big lamb chops. Maybe we need to look into it. Maybe we need to get some sheep. Lamb chops. Take us home, man. Race car, or motorcycle. Big swing. Woo! All right. Pop a squat. Ugh. I think my boots off. Take them off. There we go. Get my Dad. I mean, oh, where are my shoes? Where are my shoes? Uh, oh, it was too hot. Oh, it feels good in here. here. No one's here. You know what is here, though? Tookies. Yeah! And Poppy more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, anyway. Hey, let's go look at the garden a little bit. That's a choo-choo. That's a choo-choo. Mm -hmm. It's a train. That's a monkey choo-choo. Yep. So we haven't been back here in a while. Grandma and Grandpa have kind of been taking care of the garden because they know what to do when 
with the food when it grows. <laughs> That's a watermelon. Watermelon. Cool, huh? And there's some peppers. Hey, come here. That's a watermelon. Look at these peppers. Ooh, those are pretty. Are those strawberries? They are. They're not going to make it. But those are strawberries. It's those. Yep, we got some melons. There's a watermelon down there that kind of took a funny shape because it was hanging for a minute. There's some corn, and then some of the corn died. I didn't do that good a job with my corn. The beans are going like crazy. And then, what do you guys think about my potatoes? You think they're done? <laughs> Come here and look, buddy. Here, I know, I know you guys are going to tell me if there's any green on it, we should toss them. I may just cut the top off of that one, but look at this, Bubba. Oh, goodness. Oops, see that one was rotten. You guys told me when the top is exposed, it, the sun gets to it and it's just not good. But those are good. So a couple weeks ago, I've been doing this about every week and they were all about this big, but I'm that's promising to me to see one that big. So. I think what I might do is talk to dad and see if we can lift this whole thing off. And then we would just have a pile of dirt and then pull the potatoes out of it. That's what's going on. Oh no. And they got a couple oh, of squash. Get your feet. All right. Hey, look at those stairs. There's stairs. Look right there. Those are new. Oh, no. Yeah, we were using cinder blocks. For a year and a half. Yeah, they're kind of an optical illusion. <laughs> they flow with the driveway. But it's way safer than those cinder blocks they had. Oh, those are pretty. Those are so pretty. Yep, he's getting started on his firewood collecting already, huh? By the way, I built these. Somebody asked about it in several. Look at that dragonfly. He is huge. I like dragonflies. It's one of the only insects that I like, but I think they're really cool. But I built these for Grandma and Grandpa's dog. I built that fence. It was supposed to be temporary, but ended up being pretty permanent. So anyway, that way Grandma and Grandpa's dog can come out of there. She can't take off running. Nah, they do let her out every now and then, but to just go out and go to the bathroom. You know, we do have coyotes, we do have fox, we do have deer, and Libby, their dog, would not show any mercy if she, if she saw a deer. If she's not like part wolf or anything. She's not, she's not gonna actually be able to catch the deer, but she would run a country mile trying to. But other things, grandma and grandpa have had raccoons trying to get in that doggy door and then when they couldn't get in the doggy door, they've got a camera sitting right there. The raccoons actually reached up and pulled the screen door handle. Like legit knew what to do to open it. Yeah. Trash pandas. No mercy on this farm. It's really pretty. Hey, you think grandma will mind? Here. Hold still. Oh, baby. Don't put it in your ear. You give me help? You want a purple one in the other ear? Well, you're the most handsome little man with flowers in your hair. Bye, Daddy.
I thought this was pretty stinking cool when I came across it. Um, it's one of those things that you see on Instagram or social media and you're like, man, that's kind of cool. I want one of those. So I reached out to Tyler, the owner, Tyler Knox at Tactillion. And I said, hey man, I like what you're doing. And I think that's pretty stinking cool. I told him, I said, I have a metal license plate frame right now and it's already faded. Now, does this matter to some of you guys out there that aren't, you know, car and truck people? I don't know, probably not, but I love this kind of stuff. Um, it's a way to make your truck look a little bit different or your vehicle a little bit different, Jeep, whatever, um, than everybody else is on the road. But what I also like more than anything as a small business man, a small business owner myself is supporting another small business. I think that's awesome. It's so easy and we all do it to order things from overseas because they're not as costly or whatnot. And, uh, it's just really easy to do it these days, but we really, really want to, and I strive to take care of and help other small businesses uh, when I make purchases of stuff like this. This is silicone, and it's just got the American flag border around it, things like that, but it's never gonna fade. It's never gonna go away. It's gonna be there. I don't have bolts in the bottom of my uh, license plate, and it rattles when I'm hauling a trailer. I don't know why it's just when I'm hauling a trailer, but it does. Now it doesn't rattle. It can't. That's the greatest thing ever. It was worth it. I'd have paid twice. Actually, I didn't pay for it. I already told you that, so I called myself out. I said, hey man, Tyler, send me some of these things, buddy. I think they're awesome. You guys saw he sent me the come and take it, which I love. He also sent me a couple of uh, flags that I can put on the side of the truck, which I did. But I think my oldest boy, Case, because we love our country, we're very patriotic. Um, you know, this is still the greatest nation in the world. And I hope if you're not from the United States, you think your nation is the greatest nation in the world. That's okay. That's what we want, right? Here, okay, stand united, right? Um, yeah, the flags I put on the side of the truck, I think they're awesome, but my 12 year old case has already told me that one of them's gonna hit his mini fridge. Apparently he's gonna, they're magnets. They're pretty stinking cool. They just ride on and off. One of those is going on Case's uh, mini fridge, so probably gonna have to order another one, but who is this for? Well, if you go to Tyler's website, and I strongly encourage you to do so, he's an active duty law enforcement officer. So he's one of those amazing men and women who are underpaid that hold that thin blue line for all of us every day. He also works with a non-for-profit that helps find veterans homes when they come back. That holds a very dear spot in my heart. Um, and here's why. I'm the grandson of a World War II veteran on both sides of my family. Those two gentlemen, my grandfathers, I am the grandson of a firefighter and the grandson of a law enforcement officer. It just means a lot to me. My small business, I actually worked very closely with local police departments in our communities, helping keep schools safer. I haven't talked much about that just because I'm trying to help keep schools safer. It just means the world to me. So anytime I can give back and do something like this, I really, really want to. I can't say enough about supporting local small businesses in your area. Um, what I also think is cool if you're like, man, I don't know, I don't put stuff like that on my car. I don't this, I don't that. I know a lot of my audience, we've talked about this before, about 73% of my audience is 55 and 60 and older, which is awesome. I sincerely appreciate you guys because you guys already know everything. And I say that with respect because you help me not make the mistakes that you made. I think it's awesome. So what that means though, is y'all have grandkids. And if you've got teenage boys and teenage girls that are very patriotic about their country or their state, even they've got other items, they got keychains, you know, state flags, state logos, all kinds of stuff. But this is great. You got somebody that's just turned 15, 16 years old and they got their new car. We've all been there. New car, new to you, you know what I mean? My first car was a, believe it or not, the original four-door sports car. That's right, I drove a cherry red Nissan Maxima. It was a 1991, had 146,000 miles on it. My parents paid four grand for it. And man, I was the coolest guy you ever knew. I don't know if I would fit in that car today. This, this would just set off a kid's teen. I mean, Case wants it. He didn't even have a car. He's 12. He wants to put, he wants to put the magnets on his mini fridge. He tried to take this hat, but I said, mm, that's mine. That's who you buy this stuff for. He did give me a coupon code. It's Adler15. Get down in the description with a link to his website. It's awesome. Go over there, get yourself 15% off. Order your grandkids something. Order your husband, your wife, whoever, brother, sister, mother, father. You know, Smokey might want one. I might go hang on up on Smokey's house. I think it's awesome. Huge shout out to Tyler for hooking me up. 
not paid anything, guys. Like I said, I told Tyler he was going to do an affiliate thing with me. I passed on that too. I want any profits that come from this to go to him, his family, his organizations that he works with. I just admire it. Go over there, tell him howdy. I'm going to link everything he's got down below. Instagram, website, Facebook, all that stuff. I'm going to put it all down below. Oh, and before anybody says anything, I think I've got like 28,000 subs. 27,999 of y'all are good upstanding citizens, but let's be honest, one of y'all is crazy. And if you don't think it's you, it's probably you. If you do run this tag, it only takes you to my PO box. It's not gonna get you to my farm. It's not gonna get you to my house. If you were to find my farm in my house and you weren't invited, it's not my first rodeo. And I'll sick Tyler, that tactilian and his friends on you. <laughs> so you've been warned. So you guys, I just like making you guys laugh. I haven't asked Tyler about this, so Hopefully it's okay or I'm gonna have to buy one, but I'm closing in on 30,000 subs. Let's see if we can uh, give something away. We'll reach out to Tyler and when we hit 30,000, we'll give something away. So with that said, I hope y'all have an amazing day. Y'all be good, don't work too hard. Don't make me rude. God bless. Be